idea of this video was to sort of put my money where my mouth is. So as you all know if you're on the channel, I'm quite a big fan of the Line 6 Helix. I also really enjoy the Fractal stuff. Um, but like you, I see stuff on the internet saying, you know, this... Anyway, yeah, you see stuff on the internet and get a bit catty sometimes and people claim certain things are superior or whatever. I myself have sort of been fairly Switzerland about this and I kind of feel like both the Helix and the Fractal stuff are great devices and that there's great engineers at both and that both are fairly serious about you know actually modeling real amps and stuff like that and you know doing proper comparisons and getting things sounding accurate and close but I wanted to kind of use this AB switcher in the middle of an improvisation and all that stuff and see if I could kind of enjoy both units or see if there was one that stuck out to me in these tones that I've dialed in to be similar so they're both using a Dumble style amp and they're both using sort of Eric Johnson inspired settings you know with the treble rolled back and then both using a Dodd OD250 in front of that and both using the same cab and both using a delay and reverb which are sort of in the same ballpark so in theory I think you can get things to sound similar that intro you heard me switching between the two now the eagle eyed amongst you will notice that when I'm playing the Axe Effects you'll see the meter going and when I'm playing the Helix you won't see the meter going on the Axe Effects if you wanted to tell which is which now I've also done a bit where I was playing them both at the same time so you won't be able to do that so I've put together a little clip here where it's switching between the two tones um, without you knowing and see if you can pick up on the differences. I'll just put this little clip here to try and show you what I think one of the key differences between the Fractal stuff and the Helix stuff. There's like a, a low end, more presence in the low end, uh, low, low end I think, low mids, um, you know, a bit more heft. So if I play these two clips back to back, you might hear that. And that might help you decide which is which when you're listening and if you can hear the difference. And then after that, I've got the full Helix clip and the full Axe Effect clip if you wanted to sort of do your own little comparisons. For me, I can't say that I necessarily think either one sounds worlds better than the other. Now, I'm not saying that either is a dodgy device or anything. I'm just saying, you could probably be happy with whichever you've got if you do have one of these devices. Um, you can dial things in to sound pretty similar. Revolutionary, isn't it? Shut up, dogs. Oh, it's post.
Yeah.